I'm be honest with you. Well, Will Smith actually used to live behind my house. I've, I've had the pleasure of knowing his son and his daughter very well, and we did Men in Black 3 with him. Um, I believe whatever he felt that he did, he had the right to do. I also felt there were three losers in one fight. He didn't know, being Chris Rock. He didn't want to do what he had to do, being Will Smith. And she did nothing, being Jada. And it's a very sad thing, but there was a powerful moment for me to sit and watch one of the world's best emoters in the ever we've seen speak from the heart and I would rather take the beauty out of the situation than take the pain um, but I had to leave my chair I'll be honest with you it, it, it cut me really deep and I don't I don't get deep about these things but I'm a big I'm a big movie fan I'll be honest with you and um, out of a horrible moment there was a little bit of beauty in what came on and I'm sure everyone's very apologetic about what happened it shouldn't have happened um, but ask yourself what would you do in the same situation I don't know how we'd all react. We're all very human, right? Yeah. Uh, Liam Payne, of course, formerly of One Direction. We're live on Good Morning Britain. Uh, thanks for your reaction. I mean, who, who should we be angry with? Chris Rock or Will Smith? Or I don't, no, listen, I, I can't speak on this. I can't speak too hard on this because I met Chris when I was younger. And it was when we sold out Madison Square Gardens. And it was a very illusional time for me because I was a teenager who just sold out Madison Square Gardens. It's very strange. And I sat with him and we spoke for 20, 30 minutes. And he was lovely. I also know Will Smith, my managers worked with Will Smith in the past from, from the ground upwards. And like I say, he was my neighbor. But like I say, the, for me, the, I don't have a dog in this fight. There were three losers in this fight. And what happened is very sad. I hope everybody's okay. Like, I really reach out to you guys. I hope you're okay. Um, and I don't want to expand a situation that doesn't need to ex be expanded any further. I think we all know what happened. And like I say, let's take the beauty out of it. We got to watch the world's best emoter ever speak from the heart. I've seen him in every situation, in every film he's ever done. And when he cries, I cry. When he laughs, I laugh. And it's a beautiful moment. And he spoke from the heart. So let's just take the positive out of it. How should we move forward now, do you think? Um, I think we go on a fantastic evening. I can't believe I'm in LA again for the first time since COVID. Um, I'm sorry to make you guys jealous from home, but it's fantastic to be out here. I feel a very fortunate boy. Uh, I mean, I'm from Wolverhampton originally, and I was brought up very humble beginnings, and I'm at the Oscars. So anything can happen if you stick to it, guys.